We have a market all star panel to talk about SNAP. Scott Martin of Kingsview Asset Management, Fox News contributor, Mashable Chief Correspondent Lance Ulanoff, Amish Shah of Sierra Maya 360, and Charlie and Lori are still with us. Now, Amish, you kind of agree with what Charlie was saying that there might be more hype to SNAP than anything else, right? Actually, I disagree with Charlie. I respect Charlie. Oh, okay. Charlie, All but, right. Go ahead. But I'm actually on, yeah, I'm on the opposite end. You know, this is a, what I always see with the retail investors, as, it, uh, as I mentioned, is a disconnect between Silicon Valley and Wall Street, which always happens. Wall Street's always about the revenues and the earnings. Silicon Valley is all about vision and product. I think Snapchat founders got three things right today. One is they learned from the Facebook debacle during the IPO. They priced it right, only let about 14% of the shares available uh -huh. today. And the third is timing. Timing's everything. Oh, timing and, uh, is everything. Absolutely. Impressive. And Andrew Stoltman is with us. He's a securities lawyer. He has faith in SNAP, perhaps that uh, Charlie and Amish don't. But you have to admit, Andrew, that this, this IPO is coming on a wave of a Trump rally. And some people think it's just uh, getting a free ride off of that wave. What do you think? Yeah, it is. Look, I'm not a fan of the company. Personally, I feel like I'm watching the movie Groundhog Day again. We've <laughs> seen this, a, a overhyped tech stock with absolutely no earnings that's literally losing over a billion dollars. This thing is a dog. The retail investor may eventually like it because there are 13 and 14-year-old boys and girls who use it, but they're about the only ones. I personally <laughs> wouldn't touch this thing with a 10-foot pole. Okay, I can't find a buyer anywhere, but clearly there are <laughs> buyers on Wall Street. Lance, somebody who? seen I buyers? know the traders are seeing right. some. Of course, they're into the, interested, as Charlie was saying before. Right. They want the quick money here. But, uh, but you think there is something to this company that sets it apart uh, from a company that might just have like a GoPro, for example, right? Well, first of all, the audience, most desirable audience, 18 to 34, and actually it even extends to younger than that. Uh, so there's that, and uh, they are making money. They're just not making a profit right now. They're losing some money on the other side, but they're doing this. They're expanding into content with Snapchat Discover. They're broadening their audience. They're building out hardware at the same time to get people to put more content on the platform. And yes, they're not the only ones doing stuff like this, but they are the only ones probably who have those eyeballs, those true Truly desirable eyeballs right now. So now is the perfect time to go public so they can supercharge but, and go fast to stay but ahead. But Lori, we heard from Charlie what's going on here. Yeah. I mean, there are all kinds of trading deals that are going on and make this thing pop right now. Do the traders really think this stock has legs at the current price? Yeah, you know, the scarcity value strategy is so key, and it just worked like a charm for Snapchat today. Uh, but I just, you know, I'm listening to our conversation, David, and I'm laughing. I mean, I'm one of these just a bunch of old farts, right, talking about Snapchat. <laughs> it's like the demographic, right, of the, the people. are not allowed to say that word, you, uh, Okay, I, okay. You know, we're, we're, we're above the desired Democrat. That's fine. That's okay. fine. That's you fine. Know what I mean? Go ahead. We're on cable. I mean, Go ahead. So, so, so these are what the advertisers, those are the kids, you know, who the advertisers are, are targeting. So I kind of feel like um, okay. I don't really have a right to say, you know, how much okay. money they're going to be. I'm going to have to cut you off.